So someone asked about RAPD in cataract. And as you know, a RAPD is a relative afferent pupillary defect. And what that means is there's a defect in the pupil pathway on the afferent side relative to the fellow eye. And so the pupil pathway starts in the retina, then travels in the optic nerve, of course, the crossing nasal fiber to the tract. But before it gets to the geniculate, the pupil fiber comes off the tract. And that is the pretectal neuron. And the pretectal neuron is in the midbrain and goes to the Edinger Westphal nucleus, which is the final common pathway through the third nerve for the efferent pathway controlling the pupil. So the afferent pupillary defect has to be in the retina, the optic nerve, or the tract, or the pretectal nucleus. And that means if you have a cataract, a cataract doesn't actually block the light. It causes scatter of the light. So it doesn't focus properly. The whole point of the front of your eye, the cornea and the lens, is to focus the beam of light. And so if you have a cataract, it causes scattering of the light. And that means it defocuses the image. And so a cataract cannot cause an RAPD on the ipsilateral side because it's actually not blocking the afferent pupillary pathway. It's afferent, you can't see, but the pupil pathway doesn't actually start until the retina. And so stuff in the front of your eye can't really cause an RAPD. So it doesn't matter if it's your cornea or glasses or a lens problem or the vitreous. If you're in front of the afferent pathway, that is in front of the retina, you cannot make an RAPD because that's not in the afferent pupillary pathway. However, because cataracts scatter light, an RAPD can be induced at the level of the retina in the other eye. That is weird. So when you have a cataract in, in the other eye, you might have a relative afferent pupillary defect because more light is actually hitting the retina on the ipsilateral side. And so relative to the fellow eye, there'll be an RAPD in the eye on the opposite side from the mature cataract because more light is being scattered, not less light, by the cataract. And so if you do have an RAPD in a patient who has a cataract, the counterintuitive thing is it might be in the other eye. But we should never accept an RAPD in the ipsilateral eye. That normally means there's something wrong with the retina, optic nerve, or some other lesion in the afferent pathway. So always swing the light before you take the cataract out. But if you see an RAPD, small one, in the fellow eye and the, everything else is normal, and you take out the cataract and goes away, you'll know that was from scattering.